This house on my right was bought for 100K and the one on my left was bought for 97.5K. These were bought by Hannah Mills. They're gonna be flips. In this video, you're gonna see a tour of the properties and a full breakdown of numbers and loads of little tips as well to help you guys do the same. So let's go look inside. So these are gonna be two completely different ones. Uh -huh. We'll start with the 80, because it's a bit nicer. This one's gonna be a four bed. Mm -hmm. So the layout to this is same, pretty much the same, apart from upstairs, we're gonna do an attic room. Okay. So this living room's gonna be pretty much exactly the same. The only thing that's gonna be different is we're gonna block that up. Yeah. And this is then going to be from the entrance hall. Okay. Um, for the reason being, we're also squaring this off. So this will come out here, so it's not on an angle. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look a little bit weird and we'll be taking out glass. Yep. But this will be blocked up. And the reason being is that then the kitchen will flow this way mm -hmm. in a nice horseshoe. Mm -hmm. This is going to be where the new back door is going to be. Um, that's going to be the entrance from the living room. And then we'll put like a skylight in here. And this will be a downstairs bathroom. Okay. Back door won't be here anymore. We're going to block up this here yeah. and then we're going to have skylights in okay. to let in natural light. Yeah, yeah. Loads of properties around here do it, but they basically extend outside. You can see how thick kind of the walls are. Yeah. Um, this itself is the old original outside wall. That's how thick it is. Oh. We're reconfiguring this one. The one next door we're not. Now this was in a much better condition than the other property. So this kind of gives you an idea of what I was talking about earlier. The rip out hasn't finished on this one. We're about 70% through, but it shows you that we literally ripped down all the walls. So you've got the old upstairs bathroom, which is here. Like I told you, we're moving the bathroom downstairs. Uh -huh. We're gonna keep an upstairs toilet. So literally we'll have doorway here. Keep that doorway here. So toilet doorway here. It'll come out to about here, only be really small. Mm -hmm. And then this will be ripped out and this will be a nice size, like, kind of like single bedroom. Okay. So bedroom crate here. This will be staying exactly the same. This bedroom here, so double. Mm -hmm. Basically, this is exactly what I was saying. We've ripped down the walls. We're going to create a stairway here. We're actually going to go up into the attic uh -huh. and do an attic room. So you have single, double, double, and then a double upstairs as well. So this will be the first time that we go up into the attic in a project, but mm -hmm. we thought, look, when you've got two properties that are next door to each other, you've got to do something that's different. You mm -hmm. can't just sell exactly the same property. So this one's going to be a four bed. Upstairs toilet, downstairs bathroom, and then the other one will be a three bed with a downstairs bathroom, but it will be a very, very big three bed. And like you see when I'll show you in a second, both the houses are very, very different. This is going to be more of a modern feel, whereas the other one's going to be really classic, old like Victorian style things. So the old original tiled floor in the entrance hall, you'll have the classic hoving and things around the, uh, the ceilings. You'll see in the other one, I'll, I'll show you a bit more, we'll be keeping original features. Whereas this one, like I said, nice, modern, Attic room will go up there. Probably your stuff work's gonna come here. Your door's gonna be here. Yeah. To come in here, and then you're gonna have like maybe like a doorway, or maybe just an entrance hall here, and then all this will be kind of like I don't know, like another hallway. Yeah. Then your stairs will start, let's say here, maybe, and then here you'll have like a nice little seating area that's a bit of a landing space. Yeah. Because yeah. that'll be dead space. We can't do anything with the windows. Usually in the properties, we split the front bedroom in half, but because of the position of the windows. Yeah. You can't really split, it'd be a really, really small single bedroom. It just, yeah, by the time that you put your stuff all in and your insulation and all that, it just, it's not worth it. Whereas upstairs in the attic, it's a nice, nice double bedroom. That's this one. This one was for an estate agency, actually. No off market, no nothing, just a normal deal. So you can see the original floor in. Uh -huh. We're gonna try and keep as much of that as we possibly can. But this one gives you guys a good idea. You can see like, this is the brickwork that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. It's not particularly steady. You can see that it's arching a little bit. We're gonna probably um, rip it down and redo it back up again. This is the old stone. We're gonna sandblast this. Mm -hmm. Leave this all exposed going up there. Okay. I think it's gonna look really, really cool. This is gonna be blocked up here as an entrance hall. So the entrance is gonna be from there instead. Mm -hmm. This used to be dining room. This used to be living room, but we've knocked through here. This is going to be one big room. We'll plaster all of this all around here. But these chimney breasts, we're going to sandblast. We're going to keep the original chimney vest in place and then plaster inside. Okay. So we'll have one there and one there as well. Because I think it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. I think it will look really, really nice. And obviously, this is this is one for you guys. Touch the touch the skirm board. It's concrete. In these little tablets, one of the things that they did is they put in concrete and then they put in like molds around the concrete to mold the skirting board. That's actually solid concrete. All these skirting boards here are solid concrete. Crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know, see, all there, solid. So we're gonna keep the layout exactly the same. This is, this is literally gonna be your walkway through here. 
you can see the original, like when we um, ripped off the stairway, yeah. um, it was all like padded in with wooden boards. When we took it off slowly, we found the original features of the oh, original right. stairway, which is quite cool. This is going to be the new kitchen, we're blocking this up with breeze block, and then we'll have the uh, glass light coming in above. But basically, it's not a particularly nice view, so there's no point in keeping oh, that a, there. That's a really Welsh thing, isn't it? The, uh, yeah. The, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The washer. Like clothes rack. Yeah. Yeah. So through here, you've got what used to be the old kitchen, but the new kitchens go in here. That used to be the kitchen. This used to be the kitchen in here. Really dark, dingy. Yeah. Just a bit yeah. creepy. And this is like the bathroom. Again, really dark, dingy. So this house hadn't been lived in for like 30 odd years yeah. we're going to keep this as the existing bathroom but we're going to move this wall mm -hmm. here instead to gain a bit more space you're going to have bath shower toilet and then we have skylights above to make uh -huh. it look like a lot less creepy yeah. uh, you're going to have big kitchen diner big kitchen so we're thinking kitchen would basically wrap around this bit here like a big l mm -hmm. and then there could be like a like a seating area, breakfast area. Yeah. Um, in there is going to be kind of like um, utility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you've got your downstairs bathroom. Even this one is a free bed, but just a really big one. So this stuff is a nightmare. You can't actually dispose of this. It's really hard to get rid of it anywhere. It's like a plaster block. It's yeah. the only way I can describe it. And a lot of Welsh houses have it. Uh -huh. um, it's a nightmare to try and dispose of. Nobody wants to take it because it's neither plaster nor concrete nor wood. So you just fly. So it's it hard up. to it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to recycle it. No, I don't. Um, we get rid of it somewhere in Newport. But it's a pain in the ass. This is then is a double bedroom. But as you can see, this is what I was talking about when we literally ripped the whole of the upstairs down yeah. to reconfigure. So originally, you can see where the old original landing was here. So this is going to be a double bedroom where I'm standing right here. Double bedroom here, and then this is one big massive double bedroom here. So that's the attic wall to number 18. Mm -hmm. We'll just basically board, like, board it up to the top there and then we might um, clean the stone off on that one. Mm -hmm. So we've got a bare stone wall, so it'll look really cool. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep as original as possible. We're going to sandblast all of this, keep the original stone wall, keep the um, brick fireplaces downstairs as well, sandblast them, make them look really nice. Um, and then what I think we're going to do is either have lights coming from the top of the ceiling that shine down on the wall yeah. or lights coming up from the stairs that make it look really like quite nice yeah yeah is that going to next door yeah so that's that's our that's our next door uh -huh. yeah yeah so that's obviously all completely bricked up that goes to the neighbors but mm -hmm. this is actually our house and that's the extension they share extension wall so we're gonna have to sort that out for fire wrecks and stuff but this kind of gives you an idea of we're about 95 percent done with clearance here obviously we've got yeah. you can see a couple of the waste piles and things that still need to be cleared and then it, it needs to be completely cleaned as well mm -hmm. When I say cleaned, I mean all of this stuff that's on the floor, it literally gets swept up, put away, gone. So the whole house is basically completely clear mm -hmm. for when um, the plumbers and the ele electricians come in and start doing first fixes. Then the stud work goes up and then first fix of plumbing will come in underneath the floorboards. First fix of the electrics will go in then plastering will start to take place. So what's, so what's the number going to be? Great question. We've put some money towards the purchase price on this, and then we've got a JV partner as well that's put in all the rest, the refurb and the rest of the purchase price. Yeah, yeah. So we've got some skin in the game. Um, numbers on this one. So this one costs 97,500. The one next door costs 100. Um, we're looking at doing the refurbs roughly around about 58 each, and then mm -hmm. we split the profit in between. Um, I'm hoping the one next door, I'm gonna be able to sell for roughly around about 210 if I'm basing it on the one on the high street roughly in yeah. terms of like kind of comparables and i'm hoping i'll get around about 190 for this because it's going to be a really nice big property mm -hmm. also the gardens will be landscaped but you can have a little peek through that window up there the gardens are horrendous because they're on levels so just to clarify we're looking at 58 without without landscaping yeah. landscape is probably about, oh god anywhere between six to eight per garden Fuck no, really? Yeah, yeah because yeah. you're going to have to put retaining walls and stuff. Because they're sloped, mm -hmm. you have different levels, which is how most people have the gardens here, but you're going to have to retain your walls. They're so thick and they go so deep and they hold back all that weight. Mm -hmm. You have to have retaining walls on sloped gardens. Mm -hmm. So here, for instance, can you see all that brickwork there? That's an old retaining wall that's basically just collapsed. You have a little look down here. That's a retaining wall that goes about eight foot. And that's old. Some of that is coming out now. If that collapses, the whole weight of that garden comes onto this house. With this one, we're going to keep the existing retaining wall in and then pad it up in and around it. Because if we took that out, it would just be an absolute nightmare. So instead, we're going to pad up around it and leave the existing structure in. Mm -hmm. um, one, because it's more cost efficient. 
two, probably more safer, um, and three, um, it's going to take a lot less time to do that yeah. because to take all of that out and then support the rest of that it's crazy yeah. and you've got different challenges with these gardens the concrete steps are crumbling so you've got to make sure the concrete so steps you, are fine you must learn there's so much new stuff every one every, every, like, so every, every single property that we do is totally different yeah. totally different which is good keeps things fresh yeah. but then you always come across problems in these properties because they're not they're never the same you guys will know this where anybody ever quotes you for these houses i always have contingency on because they yeah. always find stuff yeah, so yeah. this is one of the reasons when we do stuff we rip everything to pieces so we can see what we're dealing with yeah, yeah. what state the walls are in like this one will cost us 58 so we budgeted but really probably going to come in at a roundabout with the garden i'm hoping around 65. yeah, yeah. um Sage. yeah yeah, to give you, give you a bit of an idea of a different way of looking at this is right at the beginning.